back on the RV here for a minute. Uh, if you're gonna fix exhaust, I mean, granted that muffler's not much, but this here with the screen and the putty, I don't know. Like, are you saving money when you use that many clamps? I think it's like 14 bucks for a piece of pipe and two clamps, well, a piece of pipe. So like for 20, 25 bucks, you could have just clamped that together. And I'm gonna just try to weld it because that's way cheaper. But anyhow, it's, you know, interesting stuff. So here we go. It even gets better. I took all this, all this malarkey off of here and the muffler actually fit on. I mean, it's not the best, but it's at least it's quieter than that straight pipe. So all I need, all is a two and a half inch pipe clamp. And you can see the hangers, butte. This one here is actually a little more, um, like it might hang on here for a while. Then I'm gonna probably get, and just put a straight pipe, a tail pipe out through the side or something over here just to get it out from underneath the vehicle it's been under going under here for a long time this is pretty black or that could be oil from the transmission i think there's a bit of a leak oh it looks like it's right in the pan so i don't know i may change the i may change the fluid in the transmission i know the thing starts up it runs so nice so i don't know we'll see so if you don't know anything about RVs, and uh, I didn't seem to have any 12 volt power in the back, and I've never had an RV before. I've always had the fifth wheel, so it is actually a setup made for two batteries. I just jumped from this to my positive there, so I'm not really into putting another battery into this thing. If somebody else gets it, they can. Still haven't got the air horns going. Um, so, the 12 volt works, I have 110 hooked up there, back here, the outlets work, I've tried in the fridge, doesn't seem to be doing anything, it's, it's, well, it wasn't all the way to cold, so, um, yeah, if anybody has any hints on that thing, I'd like to know because if, before I give this away, I want to, I mean, I'm going to get what I have into it, a few hundred bucks, but I want to get this stuff working. I'm sure the stove works. Pretty sure the water heater works. Oh, I should hook up some water today. Although I believe... Yeah, I believe the water hookup is right here because it says something about potable. So that would be water. So I'm probably just gonna have to drill that lock out. I don't have any keys for this thing at all. But I would like to hook up the water, see how many leaks there are. I don't see, like that's the, fridge it is plugged in I checked that there's 110 volts there I do have to clean this mess out but I get this stuff going I know somebody that may need it so find themselves in a jam and if I can make it livable that would be great so I'm back on the inside I was messing around. She's a beaut. Um, these lights here don't seem to do anything. Um, unless they're for outside, there's no ceiling lights. These all work now that I've figured that out. Also, and I tried the water pump, and it's pumping. I put water in the tank, but 
I got nothing. So I don't know if pump's no good or if I have to look into that, crawl underneath there and look at the tank. But the big thing is, I was in here the other day and I said the AC didn't work. Well, it's just because I'm stupid and I had it on fan instead of AC, so that's ice cold, which is huge because if somebody needs this thing, I did actually clean this. And oh my goodness, with the muffler on, well, you can't even hear it run. So it's awesome. I just need to get the clamp. My brake light's still on, gotta figure that out. I haven't done anything with the brakes because I've got a tire on the back on this side. Well, there was there's dualies on it. One that's on it, I put it on to get it home, it's gone flat. I have a tube and I have a tire that's pretty decent, looks like it, kind of maybe. So, but I'm just pumped about the AC, really. That's really incredible because, um, well, in New Mexico in the summertime, with a hot box like this, I think the curtain's down, it looks way better. There's some paint gone, there's some soft spots here and there. This thing is a wreck. Again, I don't know if it's worth me getting one. I'll look and see how much they are. Well, light actually works on it. The fan, well, I mean, even if it did work, like, what difference does it make? <laughs> so, um, but again, I'm not going to put a lot into this because I don't know what's going on. Scrabble's still there. Oh, I could have used that. Ooh, that's weird. It's got lines. I mean, it's really thick. I was painting some stucco in the house, and that was really... So, I don't know. Um, AC works huge. I'm going to go drill out that. So, I tried the pressure side. Probably I already said, but... And I broke that off. I broke the end right off. So, I'm going to drill those rivets out. So, I can't hook the hose to that somehow. I have 110 volt. She's coming along. Oh, yeah, see here I got this tire. It did hold air to get me on. It's off the beat now. So, um, big old giant gash in there. I drove that 25 miles like that. So, a little sketchy. But that's okay. I got one over here that's in pretty good shape. I got a tube for it. If it's, if it's broke off the rim, if the bead's broke on it, I'll replace it. If not, able to no oh, it is the bead is broke on that so I'm gonna really that's gonna be a pain in the rear end to put that tube in there but I can put it in there throw it on there and then I can drive the thing around probably most of you know but for those that don't if you have something that's riveted you're not done you just drill them out really can't push on it on one hand very well. See that comes right off. See how it just they're just left on there. But anyhow you just pull those off and that's what you got. And you know, that one's not quite there. See this is what I was looking for. Now I can just get a new fitting for here glue it screw it whatever on there and done just like that so upon further discovery I actually you know where there's a will there's a way I really wanted to get water in here to see if there's anything leaking um, of course by the looks of that you can see there's water on the floor so if something was but look what I did I took that off and I just I had this piece of hose for doing something with the pool that's got a female in on both ends so you can hook a garden hose back into a into a something really yeah so anyhow the water heater now the plug is broke off but it's not coming from there because I could plug that with my finger and it would stop sucking air so actually what I'm gonna do is pull this out now I've never never done this before either but you know I don't think screws in the bottom of that thing 
Doesn't look like it. Oh, she's just silicone in there. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, so I anyhow, I gotta have two hands for this. So I believe I've found the problem. I don't know if you can tell, like, like here, like right there, like this is fine here, but this may have something to do with it. So I guess I'll see how much a water heater is for this. Yep. So back on the camper, I had to, <clears throat> I took some stainless steel and some epoxy and I've just temporarily fixed the bottom of that because it's, I just want to see if this system works. I'm not going to spend 500 bucks on a new water heater for this thing now. Also, the drain plug was an issue. I'd forgotten about that. So what I'm trying to do is clean that out and see if there's threads in there or see if that's a broke off. I don't know, it goes all the way through, so I don't know, but that's a drain, so I can't just plug it up. You have to be able to take that out to drain this so it doesn't freeze, so we'll see how this goes. So you probably won't be able to see this, but um, there's threads in there. They just corroded, but I have to get a, I think that's eighth inch pipe thread. A bolt won't fit in there. And I don't have a tap, tap to tap out pipe thread. So, if I can't get one in there, I may have to epoxy a plug in there. At least you could take it back out. I mean, it wouldn't be impossible. I don't know. So, in case you don't know, never mess with it. There's not much to these water heaters. The sun's... Anyhow, there's an opening there I pulled it out of. There were screws around it. Um... So that's, well, anyhow. So I'm just gonna throw this thing back in there. And I put some silicone, I cleaned the silicone off this first. I'm just gonna put a little bead of it on there. The windows really need to be taken out and resealed. But, still, I don't know. <clears throat> Let's see if there's any interest in this. If somebody wants to do a finish a project project on it, they're not worth a lot. So I don't want to put a lot into it. I could at least get my money back. That's why I'm going low budget. <clears throat> Obviously if there's something that we're gonna use I would um, put a new water heater in it. But that's not happening. This is where you get it all over you. So the hard part's going to be getting broken in line.
clean seat. Put the silicone on when you're almost done. Going around the edge. Yeah. That is the hindsight. Board. So there's panels inside that you can remove. Obviously, it's made that way. So it wasn't hard to find where the water heater was in here because when I put the turn of water on it, it was running out of it. So. see the line hookups. I don't know if you can see them or not. Trouble is, neither one of these doors are big enough to actually fit in, for me to fit in. Okay. Well, there's nothing holding it in there. So let's go back outside. See, this is the hookups, that's all it's on the back, is the water hookups. Let's try this again. Yeah, the old hindsight. thrown on the ground that's covered in dust. see was not a great plan I didn't I came out way easier than this which is unusual usually they go back together easy Oh my goodness. Of course, I'm not so worried about it on the bottom edge.
Be like that. Go ahead. Yeah, put that on there. There's actually a steel frame around this. Do hickeys, so I have to stay away from the corner. Those usually fit good, but Silicone squishing out, which is a good thing. Let's give a little extra reinforcement I think on the corners. Not rusty. It's not going in there straight. Stop at your local gas place and fill you up. Which is really inconvenient, I would think. Yep, that's inconvenient. I thought gravity would hold it. So, I don't know. I'm gonna get a line. this anywhere I mean it drives uh, tires aren't great but run and starts really nice um, fix the muffler as you saw earlier I have a tire I still have to fix from the back the front tires have held air really good since I've gotten it and I gotta pick up 
that propane line, which is also covered in silicone. Yeah, four chase on that whole thing. So I gotta try to manhandle that back in there. That's not working. So I last left off on the RV, hooking up the water. Uh, stinking taillights left on again. I haven't figured that out. All right, let's see. I turned the water on. the hot water side. That's the water heater I put back in there. It's filling up. Takes a few minutes. I'm gonna start doing this floor soon. I gotta do a piece of floor for this. I right, left over. This here was just kinked. That line was kinked when I got it apart. It doesn't need to be fixed because that's just gonna mess up with the flow. So I'm gonna grow it here. Oh yeah and the previous previously on free RV um this door I couldn't get open my first video yeah well uh, <laughs> it was locked <laughs> so <laughs> I gotta deal with the the lights. I ended up gluing that plug in there. The JB welding it. I couldn't find anything that fit that thread. And I couldn't keep messing with it. So oops. Maybe you have the toilet leak. I don't know what we got going on there. Yeah. I'll pop that thing off. It's easy enough. There's not much to those. Luckily there's a drain in the floor. I mean they're full. I don't know when the last time this has had water in it, but Anyhow, that's, uh, I'm really looking for leaks. The toilet probably needs a new valve. Actually, toilet's not that expensive. Anyhow, so. My patch on there seems to be holding. Should be a. I don't know why I got that in there. So that's the only leak. Unfortunately, it doesn't have shut off, so. But, um, a lot of junk in there. Anyhow, we'll get this. So I am definitely I'm gonna have to replace that unit. Not a big deal. Like I said, draining the floor is convenient. But no great surprises. Not really concerned about the leak in the toilet. Everything else looks good. I have to shove that line inside. But that's all for now. 
I'm gonna work on the propane next, but I've been a couple weeks getting this stuff together, so see if I can't get it working. 